بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيد الأنبياء والمرسلين أما بعد الحمد لله another great blessing of Allah سبحانه وتعالى many events took place this this week past this few days starting from Tuesday evening and and today from Tuesday evening first three days we we conducted the itikaf for Hizb al-Bahar. Hizb al-Bahar is a lit, uh, uh, litany of, of the sea. The litany of the sea means the petition that is put for, uh, forward in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to accept our prayers. And who, uh, who gave the petition is assigned by Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa through Imam uh, Abu al-Hasan al-Shazli rahimullah. And, and petition, what do you have to do? You have to go and boycott. You have to go and strike. So we went in strike, we came to the masjid, left the comfort of our home from all over the places, people from Maryland, people from California, people from all over the place they came, even from Sweden, from other places they came together. And in the house of Allah, we, took, we, we said that we're going to bot, uh, boycott till Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept our prayers. And, 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 and the strike took, uh, uh, allow us to, we had to fast, we fasted those three days. So it was many blessings this week took place and, and, we, completed, and, these, uh, and we completed the petition that we put forward in, uh, in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and, and, and some of us have seen the result and the blessing of this dua also in right away in, few, uh, in, in the next day of finishing we saw the result of it. And, and, and we should be grateful that we, we were able to do and uh, we will recommend Others, brothers, whenever it takes place, uh, taken part in with, and all over the world, people have taken part by the blessing of Hazrat. He allow us to, and he gave us proper instructions how to do this, or else we won't be able to do. No one have thought in million years in America, in New York, or or uh, 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 that there will be an individual that would come and would make us uh, recite this du'a, Hizbul Bahar, which is putting petition in front of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala to accept our prayers, and not just this. We also have completed uh, 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 more than uh, 200,000 uh, salatu upon Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa Each was assigned to complete 30,000 and people have succeeded and they have succeeded in their goals and about 200,000 uh, drood were, uh, were sent in, in the majlis of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa And after that, Allah subhanahu wa blessed us with tazkiyah workshop and people, those people who were in in the uh, in Hizbul Bahar also continued into Tazkia, and and uh, today we are in here. As we we all know, what Tazkia is is the inner reality, is the purification of the inner realities and our uh, uh, and our uh, our behavior and our manners. What Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam says, uh, sallam says in, in the Hadith. Uh, he, uh, he, 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 he says in a hadith that uh, uh, the most beloved to me and the most nearest to me in the day of judgment are be, uh, who will be those people. If I ask every one of you, even me, would you want to be with Rasulullah in the day of judgment? We will all say, of course, why not? We all want to be with Rasulullah. And, and what, what, does allow, what allows us to get closer and to get the love of Rasulullah sallallahu In hadith, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam mentioned two things. That, he'll be, he'll, uh, that uh, he's the most beloved to me, and plus he, that, that individual is the most closest to me. And he said, Aha sinu khuluqa, the one who has the best of manners. He didn't say he prayed his five times salah. He didn't, he didn't say he gave zakat, he fasted the month of Ramadan, but he's saying he had the best of characters. Uh, uh, ahasin, what is Ahasin? And for this reason, my, my topic is the Hadith of Jibreel alayhi salam. Umar bin Khattab, he narrates a, a man comes, and we're sitting with the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam. A man appears in front of us and comes, uh, 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 and he says, Shadidu biyad is siyabi. And his, his, his shining white clothes. And, and, and he said, extreme uh, black hair. And, uh, and, and he appears in front of us, and he has no, uh, no sign of journey, that he didn't come from travel, that if he came from the desert, you could see signs of travel in him. 
his dusty hair, his hair would be dusty, his clothes would be dusty. But we didn't see any sign of, uh, of travel in him. And, and none of us recognized him. You know, Medina was a small uh, village and a small uh, city. Everyone knew each other, but he wasn't amongst us. We didn't know who this individual was. And he, and he comes, and it was very odd to us. And this individual comes and he sits very right in front of Rasulullah that his knees are touching the knees of the Prophet And he places his hand upon, upon, to the, upon to the, uh, the, uh, the thighs of Rasulullah and he starts to question. He said, Ya, Rasul, uh, ya Muhammad, akhbirni an al-Iman, uh, akhbirni an al-Islam, inform me about Islam. And Rasulullah said, Islam is the five pillars that we know. Ashadu uh, 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 Allah ilaha illallah, Muhammad Rasulullah, and fa uh, praying five times salah, uh, fasting in the month of Ramadan, giving zakat, and if, if the person had capability of performing hajj, that's what Islam is. Then he said, uh, then he said, Akhbirni al iman, inform me about iman. What is iman? He said, Iman is Amantu billahi wa malaikatihi wa kutubi wa rasuli wa yomil aqri wa qadrihi wa sharri min Allahi ta'ala. He said, That's what iman is. The believing in uh, 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 in Allah, believing in his his prophets, the books, the angels, and the day uh, uh, everything good and bad comes from Allah and the day of uh, judgment. And, and then and the point that I want to highlight the next question that he asked: Akhbirni al ihsan inform me about ihsan. He said, Rasulullah says, An ta'bud Allah ka anna ka tarahu, fa illam yakun tarahu, fa illam yakun tarahu. Uh, 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 he said, he said, what is Ihsan? What, uh, what is Ihsan? What is the definition of Ihsan? He said, uh, Rasulullah said, he said to worship Allah as if, you, uh, as if you see Him. You worship Allah as if you see Him. And if you are not capable of doing this, if you are not capable of, uh, 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 that you can't understand that Allah is watching me, and uh, that, uh, that, that you're watching Allah, know that Allah is watching you. But here in, in this word, Allah, uh, Rasulullah sallam used ta'bud. If a person has proper Islam, then he has proper Iman, then his entire life becomes ibadat. Now his entire life becomes ibadat, that's why he used the word uh, an ta'bud Allah. That in any, uh, any, uh, any affair, not just in your salah, not just in your, uh, uh, in your fasting, not just in your, in your zakat, not just in your hajj, that Allah is only watching then. He's watching you every moment of your life. But if you can't comprehend that Allah is uh, that you are watching Allah, but Allah is watching you, remember uh, remember this. And then the hadith continues, asking about uh, the day of judgment, when the day of judgment will take place. And he said that the one who is asking, he knows better, right? So every time he would answer the uh, Rasulullah would answer the question, he would say, "Sadaqta, you have spoken the truth." So it was Atu Umar ibn Khattab radiAllahu anhu, a person. He's asking a question, he's inquiring, plus he's uh, as if he's testing Rasulullah sallallahu he said, you have spoken the truth, right? The person who's inquiring, he's not going to say, oh, you have given the correct answer. And he's doing this, and he asked him about the day of judgment, and then he asked him other, uh, other signs of the day of judgment. And then uh, after some time, Rasulullah sallallahu asked Umar ibn Khattab, he said, uh, do, you know who was this, uh, do you know the individual that came that day? And he was asking these questions. You know who he was? He said, he said it was Jibreel alayhi salam. He came to teach you the entire deen. He came to teach your entire deen. Person might think uh, Tazkiyah and Tasawwuf is for those Aliya Allah, you know, those pious people. I can't get it for Taj Salah. I can't do these, these amount of dhikr. The Rasulullah said, no, this is, this, is par this is the parcel of your deen. This is a parcel of your entire, uh, uh, entire religion. You can't leave it out. You can't separate them. They're part of it. You have, Im you have Islam, you have Iman. But you have to do, you have to work on your ihsan, is your tazkiyah. It's the rectification of your actions. You know, rectification of your actions. That you bring kindness um, uh, into you just like, uh, and, and, he, and he gave us who? Rasulullah as, uh, uh, as a person to follow, as a uh, role model to follow. That his, his kindness is, surpasses every, everyone's kindness. So if you want to look at the example, how can I be kind? You have to look at the, uh, look at the kindness of Rasulullah How can I be courageous? You have to look at the courageous of Rasulullah how, uh, how, how can I be modest? You have to look at the modesty of Rasulullah Sallallahu How can I bring uh, jo uh, joy into my life? You have to look into the joy of Rasulullah Sallallahu 
and all uh, and all this uh, all this effort has has to be done in order for us to become a proper uh, the person Allah uh, Rasulullah saying ahabba ilaykum wa aqrab wa aqrab the most closest to me and the most beloved to me would be on the day of judgment the one who has rectified his actions who has rectified his uh, who has uh, 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 purified his actions and 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 his behavior and this, uh, this is the hadith of Jibreel alayhi salam where he's teaching us the entire deen where at the end is concluding us that he came to teach you the, entire, the manners of the deen that you can't separate them or the sub is for those people who, uh, who are too pious. You know, it's for everyone, every Muslim that have, that have accepted Rasulullah to, uh, uh, to, to be his prophet and Allah, uh, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to be his, uh, to, uh, to be his uh, only, only deity. Right, so may Allah give us the ability to, uh, uh, to understand the complete deen and allow us to rectify our actions and allow us to purify our hearts and, and get us close to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Wa alhamdulillah rabbil alameen.